All right, take three, action. Hello and welcome to once again after two weeks of inactive to the weekly dose of reviewing stuff. Well, I just got to bring back the opening title again. And in this episode video here, I'm going to take you all a look at my self-order camera strap. But why do I have to review this? Although it's just a normal camera strap, so if there's anything special about it? Well, so let me tell you all about the yes I did made to order camera strap. And of course, I actually bought this, so not sponsor at all. I actually bought this in a legitimate way, yeah. So without further ado, let's take a look at what we got here, first of all. So looking at the box right here, so y'all can see that there is an item inside the box and there is a window that you can look through it. And inside the box itself, you got only the camera strap itself and that's it. So no manuals or anything, it's just the item itself in the box. In the package actually, so I forgot to recall. And on the back right there, there is some address for the shop which I'm not going to censor it. But if you are interested in that, so you can go check them out if you want to, feel free. And inside the box, there is an indeed camera strap itself inside. So, but since there is nothing left to say here, so I'm going to unbox it anyways. Alright, so inside the box, we got an indeed camera strap. Alright, so as you can see here, here's what it looks like for the Yes I Did Made to Order camera strap. And I got this one in light gray. But somehow, if I look through my eyes right here, it seems like some sort of a white color to it, but more time just light gray color. And on the strap itself, I have printed my text on there, which I have printed the known boss on it, which it actually represents my brand. And well, I didn't put my name on this, but actually it is, well, you know, the branding that I put onto this camera strap right here. That is actually represent myself, so my brand, I think. And on the other side right here, or whatever it is, you got the buckle right here to detach the entire strap so you're just going to put this button right here and then pull out and it's gonna pull out the entire strap for you just like what on the most of the peak designs camera strap will do and well of course it's not some sort of like the hooks to connect it up but instead there is a hook that is actually kinda reminds me of those camera bags that is actually you might go into familiar with that but though at first when I first got this thing it was a bit hard to use so but after some time of making the familiar with it so I finally going to show to y'all what how to use it so I'm going to show to y'all here you know, how to use this thing in a proper way so okay so first of all right here you might going to see this part right here that it looks like a buckle and then you have to push in really hard maybe a bit hard but not that much but of course if you push in too hard the plastic on this thing would mostly like to crack upon time and then it's just gonna crack and it's become unusable so not too hard but it's a bit too hard so you push in like that and then pull out the strap entirely like this and boom here you go you can put your strap off the way and then you can install this camera strap right here on your compact camera or on your phone or whatever you want like for example right here if I want to put onto this phone right here for example so but since it has the hooks right here where you can put your own camera strap in so and I'm going to show to y'all you know, how to use it so and okay so you can see the holes right there for example right here on your phone and then you would have to put in the holes into there which it's it's a bit tricky and of course it is it's gonna be a bit tricky to do this but but at least I tried okay so see it's a bit tricky when it comes to placing the hooks oh there we go as you can see here here's what it looks like <laughs> I just discovered that it's just made an exposed wire on it. <laughs> but that's okay. I understand the quality here. 
Alright, and here's the slide for the final result. And if you want to put this thing back in after you're done installing the strap on your phone or on your camera, you're just going to push it in and it's just going to lock it for you. So it's really easy to use. So you can use this wherever you go and you have to leave it like this, which it makes a really cool appearance, both your lock and your phone. And okay, what are my conclusions right here? So and first of all, this camera strap right here, it has a really high quality feeling of fabric to it but although it feels like high quality but for a cheap price this is actually worth it for this type of camera strap right here so you all can see that so but although the shop that that I've got this thing off from it has like the surface that you can print your text on it which of course I did I did actually tell the seller that I would like to have the print of the text of this which they provide me some like the text color and then which I choose this text right here and I choose the, the third front type of and I have to paint this one back so this is actually gonna represent my branding which it is actually the no one boss and of course this is actually going to be my new look <laughs> so but what about the quality right here? The quality, just like what I said, it feels like a high quality, but for cheap price, this is actually worth it for this type of camera set right here that it is cheap and it's also high quality. But uh, I don't know how long it's gonna last. Of course, it is actually usable, at least. It's actually just like a typical camera strap that you might going to find on your market or your thrift store or your online shopping mall or whatever it is. But of course, this thing right here, it's kind of cheap, but it feels high quality. And what about the functions of this thing? So the functions, well, there is nothing much that I can say here. So you only got this buckle right here to lift off the entire camera strap and then you might go to pull it away. And then if you want to leave it like this, you are just going to have it like this, like there's nothing on there. And if you want to put the camera strap back on, you're just going to push in and then it's going to automatically lost for you. So here's what it looks like. It's really easy to use, not gonna lie. And well, so what are my overall conclusions right here? So I think this is going to be a really short talk about the overall conclusions right here. But if you're not going to surprise why this episode right here is really short, it's because I have nothing left to say about this camera strap right here. But since I'm just going to talk about the overall conclusions anyways. So for my overall conclusions right here, after I've done some little testing right here before I did a video on this, which, well, the quality right here, it looks pretty good, just like what I said in the conclusion and of course it is really strong and I don't know how long it's gonna last for but I think it's going to last for like a year or two or three years which the quality right here for what I'm seeing right now it seems really high but for a cheap price and of course you didn't get the lock for your wrist at all it's just well completely universal and with a really easy to use right here which you got this buckle right here to lift off the entire strap if you want to install this thing onto your compact camera or on your phone but overall this thing right here it feels like really high quality but for a cheap price this is actually completely worth it and okay so that was really it for the yes I did made to order camera strap which well of course I did actually make some changes to it which but apart from just an empty camera strap and I also put a text on there which it actually gonna represent my branding on it which is the no one boss so but though the hashtag right here it actually represents the no one boss in every which way and yeah of course this camera strap right here it is of course and indeed a phone strap that i really want to put on some of my smartphones that i have and well of course it's gonna be looking something like this in general so and that was basically it for the yes i did made to order camera strap and well so I don't know how long this high quality feeling right here is gonna last for but well I'm going to see in the long term of use and okay so that was basically for this video and I hope you all enjoyed this video and don't forget to leave us a like comment and also the most importantly which is to subscribe to the no one boss right here which is represents myself and I do appreciate that and I will see you guys later in the next video where I'm going to do more quality content like this for you guys and well of course subscribing to No One Boss it doesn't cost you that much and of course it's really free the No One Boss welcomes you always so alright so that was basically it for this really short review video and I will see you guys there
all around where I'm going to do more hearty content like this for you guys. But anyways, subscribing to No One Boss, it doesn't cost you that much at all. It's completely free. And the No One Boss welcomes you all always on this YouTube channel. Bye! Oops.